Hey guys, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again, and today is day number 173 of quitting alcohol. Today I just wanted to talk about drinking for reasons like grief, PTSD, trauma, maybe it's childhood trauma, or maybe you've experienced something pretty horrific in your life, and um, you know there can be a lot of uh, reasons like that to drink. And uh, I've drank for reasons like that, obviously, in my life. And, um, but you know, here's the thing about that is you do get that temporary numbness um, away from whatever it is that you're running from or that was tough to deal with or is um, overcomes you and it's a feeling kind of that you can't shake, you know. But um, that's what it is. It's a temporary fix. It's a temporary Band-Aid. And what happened in the past isn't going anywhere. I mean, it's, it's in the past. It's going to stay there. But um, what is left is you dealing with it and how are you going to deal with it. And turning to alcohol um, long term isn't a solution. Uh, we know how that ends. And to get the same numbing effect, eventually you end up drinking more and more and more because uh, your tolerance goes up and um, you're running and running and running and it just, uh, that stuff starts to catch up and build up. And if at some point um, you don't put the drink down and face it, you know, you may end up drinking to the point of no return. Um, and um, I know with my experience, there's days now, you know, some past stuff that, you know, make me want to drink when these feelings and things come up. But um, I've got too much to sacrifice now in this life away from alcohol. Um, I've been away from it long enough to see the positive results of my life, like the relationship with my kids improving and um, so many other things that it's just not worth numbing whatever it is I'm running from now um, for a temporary band-aid that long-term isn't going to do any good in the long run. And, uh, you know, I think it, it's just true with life. The, the longer you suppress something and run from something and hide from, th from something and mask it with alcohol or drugs or whatever, um, you know, it's because we're not processing it correctly or dealing with it correctly. And I completely understand why we turn to those things when things are so painful or uncomfortable. Um, you know, you just want that quick fix numbness away from what that is. But like I say, it's not a long-term solution that um, is sustainable. Um, either it's going to keep growing and you're going to keep drinking more. And then, you know, uh, what are you going to drink until the end? I mean, I get why somebody would do that and no, no judgment to a person that um, experienced something that they just can't shake and they, they go that route. But for me, that wasn't an option. Um, and for many of us out there, you know, we see the writing on the wall that that's not a good option. And so what's the alternative to not doing that option? Well, it's looking at those things, feeling those things, facing those things, and it can be an emotional thing, a painful thing. But, um, you know, you're gonna be stronger in the long run and your life will get better sooner when you finally deal with those things without alcohol and face them, feel them, process them. And it can be sometimes a long, painful process and a long, um, you know, journey. But uh, the sooner you start that without numbing yourself, the sooner it will get easier and easier and easier and behind you. And so, um, again, there's no judgment in this for the people that are drinking for these reasons. I get it. I've done it. Um, and uh, there's just another side, though. And, and I'm here to tell you that the other side of that is, is for me, better. Um, it can be uncomfortable. But um, where I was going with my drinking, I was going to end up dead. And um, so... I'd much rather be alive and uh, here for my family and, um, you know, uh, just have a better life overall in general than turning to the alcohol for these tough things. And uh, so there are days, you know, in this, uh, once you've had that, I think, drug of alcohol and um, you've used it in the past to deal with tough times, 
when tough times come in this journey of quitting alcohol, you're instantly pulled to go back to the alcohol because that's what you use to um, numb and get away from that uncomfortable feeling. And so I think that's, that may always be there. I don't know. Um, as I move forward and bad things happen, um, because, uh, or, or something resurfaces from the past or whatever it is that may, but you know, it's one of those things. Yeah. I can turn back to the alcohol at any time I could go today and drink, but is that really going to fix that problem? You know, am I going to be a better person if I take the easy way out with the alcohol and damage my body and damage my relationship with my kids and, you know, um, start tearing into my life again? No, it's not. It's not the option that I want. It is an option, but that's not the right option for my life. And if you're feeling that way too, um, you've been running from something or dealing with um, something that uh, you're using alcohol to numb. Um, and you want to get away from it, then, you know, that's, that's, that's a good thing. Um, it's, it's sometimes challenging and difficult and, and painful, but, um, like I say, the sooner you start, the better it's going to get quicker. And, um, so, you know, that's just what I want to talk about today. Not a, a super uber positive topic, but, um, you know, it's, it's a reason we drink sometimes and, um, it's something to think about. You know, there are other ways to deal with grief and PTSD and trauma um, than turning to alcohol. There's lots of people that do. And um, there's lots of people that turn to alcohol, too. And uh, it's one of those things that's a choice at the end of the day. Um, you have to decide what's right for you. And um, I self-medicated for 20 years with alcohol and my life kept getting worse. And now that I'm facing these things head on without a drug anymore, I can tell you that uh, for me, it's a better option and it might be for you too. So um, if you guys are enjoying these videos, give them a like, subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.